we don't get a whole lot of them. And we'll add them to the collection. We're gonna melt some butter in the pan. Before I was doing stuff like that, I was doing stuff like this. My name's Joey Antonelli and you're watching my channel. I've grown up in the same area my whole life, fishing the same waters with a family full of fishermen. Now I'm on the water more than ever. Thanks for tuning in to another episode and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get back to the action. <laughs> Outdoors. We are out on the lake today, semi of a lake. It's like mid lake ish. But we are on Mark and Robin's boat, or on their Grady, and we're gonna be doing some bottom fishing, looking for some cobias, maybe even hop in the water. We brought the dive gear, always gotta have the dive gear. But we're getting set up on the first spot now. We're gonna drop some baits down, and see what we can find. <laughs> Tired by now, yeah. It was a snapper, right? Yeah, it looks like to me that it's got that. Uh, oh, there's a little snapper, yellowtail. Oh, that is a stud yellowtail. That doesn't happen often here. I'm sorry, you have a sliding lead. Yeah, all right, we'll make sure we at least get that back. Yeah, that is a big nurse shark. Big nurse shark. Wow, that's big. I wonder I had a hard time. Jeez. I wonder I had a hard time. I won't either want to cut that or... Oh, I love Nurse Shark. Oh, you want the pliers, honey? No, I got Bye-bye. Oh, nurse Shark. Whew, nice shark. That was a nice fish. Now that, this guy. That is a beautiful yellow tail. We don't get a whole lot of them. That was on a greenie. So I have a big bait on the bottom and Mark got a gigantic lane snapper. So I'm switching it up. We're gonna get that with a little chicken rig. Look at that thing. Uh, going down, we got the salt X going down. We're gonna find them. There we go. Oh, Joey's got a big fish. I got something that's not a grunt. It is a beeline. Uh, Keep a, be keep a beeliner. Look at that. Hook nice just fell out. Yeah, nice beeliner. Yeah. It'll go nice with the with the lane. Or what? Oh, we got lane and yellowtail. Going back down. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There you go. Get him, Joey. That was because oh, Robin threw greenies at you. Mm. I'm squid, right? <laughs> Hope you got a good hook because my little hook is like. Rip him up. Come on, Joey. Come on. 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 Come I might be Colby, yeah. Let me slide back, Mark. Yeah. Honey, here, do something with this. Yeah, it's going to be Colby. Yeah. There he is. Colby. I got it right here. Woo! Colby. Yeah, at least he didn't give it to the shark. Yeah, Colby. Alright. What do you think, honey? No, 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 just... I can get more. Oh. I was walking. Oh, good, he's gone. Alright. Came off, borderline Cobia. Go get another fish. Look at that, we got a horn belly all the way up our line. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. I haven't seen him yet though. Is it a cove or is it a bonita or something? Yeah, it could be or tuna. It's not a cove, it's a bonita or a black fin. I think it's a black fin. It might be a black fin, it really it ran hard. Yeah. Oh, is nice it a black fin or a bonita? I think it's a black fin. I think it's a black fin. I think it's a black fin. So no, Bonichiwa. Bonita? Giant Bonita. Oh, that's okay. That's so Yeah, funny. still fun. Here you go, honey. Look at the size of that Bonita. Big Bonita. Yep. Yep, definitely Bonita. Oh. That's a big Bonita. Holy crap. Tail or. 
Yeah. Look at that, we got a shark right under the boat too. Yeah, he's bleeding. That's true. Mm. Hope he makes it. See you later, Bonichiwa. Cobia on the flat line. I'll get him, Mark. I got this one. Yeah. Lots of these smaller cobias. There we go. Oh, good job, Joey. Got the Kobe. There's a smaller one on the flat line, looking for a little tuna or something. That ain't bad. His belly is. Yeah, he's been eating good. Nah, he's a little short. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and send him back. <laughs> Looks like a pretty good fish. We're putting him in the net just to be safe. People gaff short fish all the time, and we don't want to do that. Don't put in where the sharks are. Yeah. Oh, come on. Gotta get him to do a circle right in the net. He does not like that net. That's a good fish. I'm bringing him back, I'm bringing him back, honey. Got him, got him. Oh, yes. Good job, Rob. Another cobia going in the box for the day. We brained him so that he would be dispatched quicker and we'll add him to the collection. All right, after the bonita action. Did you get the bonita on film? We got the bonita on film. Yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, put your back in. Yeah. All right, we turned him. You turned him? All right. Uh -oh, it's coming up. Uh -oh, it's coming back over this way. We're good. We're good. Net, honey? That's a nice rod. There he is. Oh yeah, the cobia. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Cobia on the jig. Look at that French. There's a French fry. Oh man, this is not going to be a fun fish to handle. He's a little fired up. Mark's on the net. We should be able to steer him right. Oh, we'll do one more circle. Get away from that. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, yeah, there is. No, there's a shark. All right, no more playing around. We got to put him in the net. Um, oh, got him, got him, got him. There we go. Go. Let's swing him all the way in. He's actually probably pretty close. Yeah, it's worth yeah, measuring. It's definitely worth measuring. There we go. Cobia on the jig. We got him on everything today on the little 6,000, or big 6,000 Salt X. I think we're going to put this one on the tape measure. He's going to be close. He's going to be close. He might be going back. Then we're good. Yeah. Yep. All right. Oh. Do one more shot. Leave yep. that there. Yep. Yep. Another keeper. Hey, who's closer? He looked good to me. The tape doesn't lie. Tape says he's a keeper. So he's going in the box. Before we get started on the slicing, we cannot forget about this guy. Because I almost did. Look at that yellow tail. That is what I am excited about. Yellow tail right there. We might do a catch and cook with him. And then the little snap. That's a little snapper trifecta there. We're going to start filleting. Super fun day on the water with a lot of action. And there was a crazy dive section, which is gonna come up in a next video, but I'm gonna show you a little teaser of that right now. Also, check out the gear, jantogear.com. You can order my hats, my shirts, my stickers, all that there. But we're gonna go make a little, little yellowtail snapper diblet. Super simple, blackened. I'm about to go fishing. Just want a little snack before I go. Got butter, got the blackening, got a fillet knife, which I just trimmed up the fillet a little bit with, and we got a pan heating up over there. We're gonna melt some butter in the pan, get it all over the place, try not to burn it, but we're gonna let that go for a minute and then get this thing covered in some blackening. Got the blackening on both sides of it. 
I'm gonna try to just get all the little pieces of blackening stuck on the plate. But that is looking good. Let's go ahead and get it in here. I think we're gonna actually turn up the heat a little bit too. Cause you wanna kinda almost burn it. You wanna burn that blackening on there. That is a good looking snapper filet. We got the heat turning up right now, so this side probably won't be super crispy. We'll try to get the other side a little bit more crispy as it gets hotter. And feel a little flip ski. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it definitely got a little crispy on there. I don't know if you guys can tell from the GoPro, but that looks good. We got the blackening burnt onto the fish a little bit. You want to see that smoke coming off there. Looks good, looks good. It should be about done. Really only a couple minutes on each side. Go ahead and flip it onto the plate. Look at that. Blackened yellowtail snapper. We moved into the fishing room. We got the yellowtail right here. And it's a fish I don't get a lot. We get it in the Bahamas, they get it in South Florida, but we don't see too many of them up here. And on that spot where we caught this yellowtail is a spot where about two weeks ago I tried to shoot a yellowtail. I had the choice between like an eight pound mangrove and a yellowtail. And because of how rare the yellowtails are for me, I took the shot on the yellowtail, but anyone that's tried to spearfish yellowtail knows they are a tricky fish to shoot. But we got them. I wonder if it's the same one. Two weeks later, same spot. Could be the same one. It's awesome. Black and fish, no secret. Everyone's had it. But it's simple. I mean, I have like 10 minutes. I'm going fishing right now. I'm just going to finish this up and get out there. And I think I'm going fishing for redfish or snook. I don't know. If I catch them, you guys will see it on the channel probably. Super good stuff. Thanks a lot, Mark and Robin, for taking us out today. And thank you guys for supporting the channel. Again, gear, jantogear.com. Subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next video. Later.